let me say this before I get to my main point. I have been praying to God to send warrior angels around me and around my home. So for almost a week now, I have been having really peaceful dreams. Really, really peaceful. Amazing. And on top of that, you know how you can see something out the corner of your eyes and then you look toward that way and you may not be able to see anything that has been happening to me as well. On top of that, sometimes I can sense a presence there. I may not be able to see it, but I can sense the presence there, if that makes any sense. Now, I don't believe it is demonic. Maybe not. Perhaps it is those warrior angels. Like I said, for almost a week now, I have been having peaceful dreams, which is unusual. <laughs> because I have been fighting so much in my dreams. Ah. Or my dreams have been very, very crazy before. But now, I can actually somewhat sleep in peace now. <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> On top of that, <laughs> so many good things. On top of that, I was praying last night. Now, there are times when I pray throughout the day and then I pray before I sleep. So before I slept, I was praying. And I was praying, then went to sleep. Within three to five minutes, minutes I guess, while I was praying, something supernatural happened, which is so amazing. Now, what happened doesn't usually happen, at least not in that form or the way that it happened. It was so encouraging, amazing. At first, I thought that I was tripping. I thought that I was imagining things. But while it was happening, I was thinking, no, this is actually happening. <laughs> How can I say this? Now, I could not see it with my natural eyes, with these eyes here. With these eyes, I could not see it, but somehow it was coming to me, I guess, through my brain, I don't know, as thoughts. And somehow I could see it and somewhat feel to a certain extent which I don't know how to explain. <laughs> you may call it a vision. I don't know. But it was really, really encouraging. Really encouraging. <sighs> now, I can say what happened but some people may say that I was only imagining things. Kevin, you are tripping. So let me not say it. 
Anyways, let me get to my point. And if you notice the subjects that I teach on, almost all of them, I guess you can say, is teaching about unconditional love. And within the love category, there is so many subjects in that. The more obedient you are to God, I believe the closer you are going to get to him. Now, what I experience, I believe that you can experience as well. Actually, there are so many more people, I guess, that experience so much more than I, much more. If you want more of God or more of what God has to offer, submit yourself more to God. That's it. So what I want to speak about Don't speak poorly about people, please. This was coming to my mind while I was eating. How would you feel if someone would talk behind your back? and say mean things to you, what if you were able to hear everything that person or people are saying? How is that going to make you feel? It is not going to make you feel good. Something was happening and I was talking with someone and this person was talking about a person and what came to my mind Kevin don't say anything bad about that person yes that person may be messed up but don't say anything bad about that person Man, I have to be really, really careful with what I say because I guess I can say the more that you elevate in God, the more that God is going to require of you. So I can't get away with things as much as everyone else because <laughs> I will feel convicted if I were to do or say the same things as many people may do or say. So I believe this may be one of many reasons why some people believe I am so strict. It is not that I am strict. It is just that God requires much more of me then maybe you, for right now, for what level or what place you are in now. And I am not saying that I am on this top level in God. I am not saying that. And I am not saying that I am better than you because I don't even think that way. Whatever. And... We have to be so careful. Now, let's say that something happened and you want to know what happened. So you are telling a person what happened between you and another person. Okay, fine. But if you are just sitting there, just speaking about the bad things about a person 
just to have a conversation, that is not good. That is not good. We have to be careful of what we say about people because what we say about people, don't you know that, don't you know that God is going to judge us based upon what we do and say? So if we are speaking poorly about people, don't you know that if we don't repent of that, we have to take an account of that when we stand before him after we die and on this earth as well, because you are going to reap whatever you sow. So don't say a person is stupid, crazy, or blah, blah, blah. Be careful of that. Sometimes I may use the word crazy when I refer to a person. And there was a video that I was going to make or was making. And I wasn't talking about a person. I was using like a random name. And... For the example that I was using, I was calling that person crazy and I was feeling bad about that. So I had to keep on changing what I said in that video because I was feeling convicted based upon that. We have to be careful of our words. Yes, it may seem easy to say what you want to say, but in truth, it is going to hurt you in the end. When we are speaking, we want to make sure that what is coming out of our mouth is love, encouragement, so on and so on. We don't want to beat people down with our words. When it comes to me talking about the Bible, I am not pointing out any names. I am not saying, well, Bill over there is a very bad person, a very dirty sinner. No, I am telling you to love your enemies, to do good toward them. I am never telling you to condemn anyone. Be careful of your words because words, don't you know how supernatural our words truly are? Now, it may seem like they aren't, but you can really hurt a person with your words. Hey, life and death is in the power of the tongue, right? So in saying that, there is so much power in our words. And if you use your words to beat a person down, to break a person down, or to try to control a person, that is dangerous. You are going to reap what you sow. And it is not going to be anything good from that, from that. So let me stop here. God bless you.